Hello to you all once again. I am Pylon Man. Superhero. Protector. Keeper of safety. Uh, birthday card holder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, defender of children and friend to all. Yeah. I'll never forget my dad's face when I gave him his 50th birthday card. With tears in his eyes, he just turned to me and said, Just the one would have done. Once more, I have prepared a short delight of a video alongside my good friends at Western Power Distribution to highlight the electrical dangers outside of the home. You'll be glad to hear that my videos don't contain any daily PE classes, although I do have a friend called Joe Whisks. I'm gonna whisk you into shape. When we last spoke, I told you about the three places you could come across these dangerous high voltages outside of your home. And these would be one, in the street, two, up above, and three, places you shouldn't be. These three places give us our three main safety tips. Look up, look out, and stay out. Remembering these three simple tips might just save your life. Sometimes though, you may find yourself in a situation where you just might have no option but to act. To be or not to be, that is the question. Due to the massive amounts of electricity involved in the electrical distribution network though, you must never be the person who directly engages with the issue. What we want you to do when you act is to use your mobile. To be or not to be, that is the question. No, not like that. There are two main scenarios when you may need to make a phone call. Two possible calls. If there is an issue with the electrical distribution network, then there are two sets of people that you might contact and two numbers that you may need to remember. That is a lot of number twos. I have not had that many number twos since I ate that dodgy cooked chicken. <coughs> the number you call depends on the risk. If it is an immediate risk, and by that we mean that somebody is getting hurt or is about to be in immediate danger, then this is an emergency. If something is an emergency, and I don't just mean needing the loo after that chicken, <coughs> Then you always phone the emergency services. The clue is in the name. Their number, as you may know, is 999. Sometimes uh, the danger might not be quite so immediate, like that spidery thing I just saw, but there may still be a need to inform somebody. Mommy, there's a spider chasing me! For example, if you see a football being kicked into a substation, this could mean that the ball might damage equipment, which could lead to a power cut for nearby houses. This just doesn't mean fridges and freezers not working. There could be old or ill people who really rely on electricity at home. Things like stair lifts. Talking of lifts, I broke wind in a lift once by accident. That was wrong on many levels. <laughs> Boom! <coughs> Here, there isn't an immediate risk of danger, but there is still a big risk. Uh, on the outside of the substation, there will be a warning sign which looks like it will also have a phone number on it to call. This will put you through to the trained operators at WPD, who will then be able to send out an engineer to retrieve the ball and check the equipment. These highly trained engineers will be wearing personal protective equipment, or PPE. Not to be confused with PP, which was another accident I had once. If it was your ball that ended the substation, or a drone, kite, mobile phone, or anything else, then never be tempted to get it yourself. When you phone our operators, they won't be angry or give you a row. They will in fact be happy that you phoned them, as it means that, well, you won't have endangered yourselves to get it. The number that you'll call to get through to WPD operators is very easy to remember, and is also on all of our warning signs. It is three simple numbers. One, O, oh, five. We say 105 stay alive. Use the number and let our engineers deal with the issue. Never be tempted to deal with something like this yourself. Use the number 105 stay alive. Maybe we could find a short bit of music for it to be summing along. It'd have to be something catchy and not at all annoying. Huh. Uh, 105 stay alive. 105 stay alive. One, da, 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 da. 105 stay alive 105 stay alive come on everybody sing with me 105 stay alive 105 stay alive let us get us